Matthew chapter 8 When Jesus came down from the mountain large crowds followed him then a leper came forward he knelt before him and said sir if you want to you can make me clean Jesus stretched out his hand touched him and said i want to be clean again at that very moment the man was cleansed from his leprosy then jesus said to him see that you do not tell anyone but go to the priest have yourself declared clean and offer the gift that moses commanded as evidence for them when jesus entered capernaum an army captain approached him to ask his help sir my servant lies sick at home he is paralyzed and suffers terribly jesus said to him i will come and heal him the captain answered i am not worthy to have you under my roof just give order and my boy will be healed for i myself a junior officer give orders to my soldiers and if i say to one go he goes and if i say to another come he comes and if i say to my servant do this he does it when jesus heard this he was astonished and said to those who were following him i tell you i have not found such faith in israel i say to you many will come from east and west and sit down with abraham isaac and jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven but the heirs of the kingdom will be thrown out into the extreme darkness there they will wail and grind their teeth then jesus said to the captain go home now as you believed so let it be and at that moment his servant was healed jesus went to peter's house and found peter's mother in law in bed with fever he took her by the hand and the fever left her she got up and began to wait on him toward evening they brought to jesus many people possessed by evil spirits and with a word he drove out the spirits He also healed all who were sick. In this way, what was said by the prophet Isaiah was fulfilled. He bore our infirmities and took on himself our diseases. When Jesus saw the crowd pressing around him, he gave orders to cross to the other side of the lake. A teacher of the law approached him and said master i will follow you wherever you go jesus said to him foxes have holes and birds have nests but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head another disciple came to him lord let me go and bury my father first but jesus said to him follow me and let the dead bury their dead jesus got into the boat and his disciples followed him without warning a fierce storm burst upon the lake with waves sweeping the boat but jesus was asleep the disciples woke him up and cried Lord save us we are lost but Jesus answered why are you so afraid you of little faith then he stood up and rebuked the wind 
and see, and it became completely calm. The disciples were astonished. They said, "What kind of man is he? Even the winds and the sea obey him." When Jesus reached Gadara on the other side, he was met by two men possessed by devils who came out of the tombs. They were so fierce that no one dared to pass that way. They cried out, "Son of God, leave us alone. Have you come here to torment us before the time?" Some distance away there was a large herd of pigs feeding. So the demons begged him, "If you drive us out, send us into that herd of pigs." Jesus ordered them, "Go." So the demons left the men and went into the pigs. The whole herd rushed down the cliff into the lake and was drowned. The men in charge of the pigs ran off to the town where they told the whole story and also what had happened to the men possessed with the demons. The whole town went out to meet Jesus and when they saw him they begged him to leave their region Matthew chapter 9 Jesus got back into the boat crossed the lake again and came to his hometown Here they brought to him a paralyzed man lying on a bed Jesus saw their faith and said to the paralytic Courage my son your sins are forgiven Some teachers of the law said within themselves This man insults God Jesus was aware of what they were thinking and said Why have you such evil thoughts Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven or stand up and walk but that you may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins he said to the paralyzed man stand up take your stretcher and go home the man got up and went home when the crowd saw this they were filled with awe and praised god for giving such power to human beings as jesus moved on from there he saw a man named matthew at his seat in the custom house and he said to him follow me and matthew got up and followed him now it happened while jesus was at table in matthew's house many tax collectors and sinners joined Jesus and his disciples when the pharisees saw this they said to his disciples why is it that your master eats with sinners and tax collectors when jesus heard this he said healthy people do not need a doctor but sick people do go and find out what this means What I want is mercy not sacrifice I did not come to call the righteous but sinners Then the disciples of John came to him with a question How is it that we and the Pharisees fast on so many occasions but not your disciples Jesus answered them How can you expect wedding guests to mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them and then they will fast no one patches an old coat with a piece of unshrunken cloth for the patch will shrink and tear an even bigger hole in the coat 
in the same way you don't put new wine into old wine skins if you do the wine skins will burst and the wine will be spilt no you put new wine into fresh skins then both are preserved when jesus was speaking to them an official of the synagogue came up to him bowed before him and said my daughter has just died but come and place your hands on her and she will live jesus stood up and followed him with his disciples then a woman who had suffered from a severe bleeding for 12 years came up from behind and touched the edge of his cloak for she thought if i only touch his cloak i will be healed jesus turned saw her and said courage my daughter your faith has saved you and from that moment the woman was cured when jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the excited crowd he said get out of here the girl is not dead she is only sleeping and they laughed at him but once the crowd had been turned out jesus went in and took the girl by the hand and she stood up the news of this spread through the whole area as jesus moved on from there two blind men followed him shouting son of david help us when he was about to enter the house the blind men caught up with him and jesus said to them do you believe that i am able to do what you want they answered yes sir then jesus touched their eyes and said as you have believed so let it be and their eyes were opened then jesus gave them a stern warning be careful that no one knows about this but as soon as they were away they spread the news about him through the whole area as they were going away some people brought to jesus a man who was dumb because he was possessed by a demon when the demon was driven out the dumb man began to speak the crowds were astonished and said nothing like this has ever been seen in israel but the pharisees said he drives away demons with the help of the prince of demons jesus went around all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and he cured every sickness and disease when he saw the crowds he was moved with pity for they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd then he said to his disciples the harvest is abundant but the workers are only few ask the master of the harvest to send workers to gather his harvest matthew chapter 10 jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to heal every disease and sickness these are the names of the 12 apostles first simon called peter and his brother andrew james the son of zebedee and his brother john philip and bartholomew thomas and matthew the tax collector james the son of alphaeus and thaddeus simon the canaanite 
and Judas Iscariot the man who would betray him Jesus sent these 12 on mission with the instructions do not visit pagan territory and do not enter a samaritan town go instead to the lost sheep of the people of Israel go and proclaim this message the kingdom of heaven is near heal the sick bring the dead back to life cleanse the lepers and drive out demons freely have you received freely give do not carry any gold or silver or money in your purses do not take a traveling bag or an extra shirt or sandals or a walking stick workers deserve to be compensated when you come to a town or a village look for a worthy person and stay there until you leave when you enter the house wish it peace if the people are worthy people your peace will rest on them if they are not worthy people your blessing will come back to you and if you are not welcomed and your words are not listened to leave that house or that town and shake the dust off your feet i assure you it will go easier for the people of sodom and gomora on the day of judgment than it will for the people of that town look i send you out like sheep among wolves you must be as clever as snakes and as innocent as doves be on your guard with people for they will hand you over to their courts and they will flog you in their synagogues you will be brought to trial before rulers and kings because of me so that you may witness to them and the pagans but when you are arrested do not worry about what you are to say or how you are to say it when the hour comes you will be given what you are to say for it will not be you who speak but the spirit of your father speaking through you brother will hand over his brother to death and your father his child children will turn against their parents and have them put to death every one will hate you because of me but whoever stands firm to the end will be saved when they persecute you in one town flee to the next i tell you the truth you will not have passed through all the towns of israel before the son of man comes a student is not above his teacher nor a slave above his master a student should be content to become like his teacher and the slave like his master if the head of the household has been called beelzebul how much more those of his household so do not be afraid of them there is nothing covered that will not be uncovered there is nothing hidden that will not be made known what i am telling you in the dark you must speak in the light what you hear in private proclaim from the house tops do not be afraid of those who kill the body but have no power to kill the soul rather be afraid of him who can destroy both body and soul in hell for a few cents you can buy two sparrows yet not one sparrow falls to the ground without your father knowing as for you every hair of your head has been counted do not be afraid you are worth more than many sparrows whoever acknowledges me before others i will acknowledge before my father in heaven 
whoever rejects me before others i will reject before my father in heaven do not think that i have come to establish peace on earth i have not come to bring peace but a sword for i have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother a daughter in law against her mother in law each one will have as enemies those of one's own family whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me and whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me whoever finds his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it whoever welcomes you welcomes me and whoever welcomes me welcomes him who sent me the one who welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive the reward of your prophet the one who welcomes a just man because he is a just man will receive the reward of a just man and if any one gives even a cup of cold water to any one of these little ones because he is my disciple i assure you he will not go unrewarded Matthew chapter 11 When Jesus had finished giving his 12 disciples these instructions he went on from there to teach and to proclaim his message in their towns When John the Baptist heard in prison about the deeds of Christ he sent a message by his disciples asking him Are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else Jesus answered them Go back and report to John what you hear and see The blind see the lame walk the lepers are made clean the deaf hear the dead are brought back to life and the poor hear the good news and how fortunate is the one who does not take offense at me as the messengers left jesus began to speak to the crowds about john when you went out to the desert what did you expect to see a reed swept by the wind what did you go out to see a man dressed in fine clothes people who wear fine clothes live in palaces what did you really go out to see a prophet yes indeed and even more than a prophet he is the man of whom scripture says i send my messenger ahead of you to prepare the way before you i tell you this no one greater than john the baptist has arisen from among the sons of women and yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven is something to be conquered and violent men seize it up to the time of john there was only prophecy all the prophets and the law And if you believe me John is indeed that Elijah whose coming was predicted let any one with ears listen now to what can i compare the people of this day they are like children sitting in the market place about whom their companions complain we played the flute for you but you would not dance We sang a funeral song but you would not cry for John came fasting and people said he is possessed by a demon then the son of man came he ate and drank 
and people said look at this man a glutton and drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners yet wisdom is vindicated by her works then jesus began to denounce the cities in which he had performed most of his miracles because the people there did not change their ways alas for you corasin and bethsaida if the miracles worked in you had taken place in tyre and sidon the people there would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes but i assure you for tyre and sidon it will be more bearable for tyre and sidon on the day of judgment than for you and you capernaum will you be lifted up to heaven you will be thrown down to the place of the dead for if the miracles which were performed in you had been performed in sodom it would still be there today but i tell you it will be more bearable for sodom on the day of judgment than for you on that occasion jesus said father lord of heaven and earth i praise you because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to simple people yes father this was your gracious will everything has been entrusted to me by my father no one knows the son except the father and no one knows the father except the son and those to whom the son chooses to reveal him come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble of heart and you will find rest for my yoke is easy and my burden is light matthew chapter 12 it happened that jesus was walking through the wheat fields on a sabbath his disciples were hungry and they began to pick some heads of wheat to crush and to eat the grain when the pharisees noticed this they said to jesus look at your disciples they are doing what is prohibited on the sabbath jesus answered have you not read what david did when he and his men were hungry he went into the house of god and they ate the bread offered to god though neither he nor his men had the right to eat it but only the priests and have you not read in the law how on the sabbath the priests in the temple desecrate the sabbath yet they are not guilty i tell you there is greater than the temple here if you really knew the meaning of the words it is mercy i want not sacrifice you would not have condemned the innocent besides the son of man is lord of the sabbath jesus then left that place and went into one of the synagogues a man was there with a paralyzed hand and the people who wanted to bring a charge against jesus asked him is it permitted to heal on the sabbath but he said to them what if one of you has a sheep and it falls into a pit on the sabbath will you not take hold of your sheep and lift it out is a human being less worthy of help than a sheep therefore it is permitted to do good on the sabbath then jesus said to the man stretch out your arm he stretched it out and it was completely restored as sound as the other one 
Then the Pharisees went out and made plans to get rid of Jesus. As Jesus was aware of their plans, he left that place. Many people followed him and he cured all who were sick. But he gave them strict orders not to make him known. In this way, Isaiah's prophecy was fulfilled. Here is my servant whom I have chosen, the one I love and with whom I am pleased. I will put my spirit upon him and he will announce my judgment to the nations. He will not argue or shout, nor will his voice be heard in the streets. The bruised reed he will not crush, nor snuff out the smoldering wick until he brings justice to victory, and in him all the nations will put their hope. Then some people brought to him a possessed man who was blind and mute. Jesus healed the man who was then able to speak and see. All in the crowd were amazed and said, Could he be the son of David? When the Pharisees heard this, they said, It is by Baal-sebel, prince of the devils, that this man drives out devils. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom that is divided against itself is destroyed, and every city or family that is divided against itself will not last long. So if Satan drives out Satan, he is divided. How then can his reign endure? And if it is by Baal-sebel that I drive out devils, by whom do your own people drive them out? For this reason, they will be your judges. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I drive out devils, then the kingdom of God has already come upon you. How can anyone break into the strong man's house and make off with his belongings unless he first ties him up? Only then can he plunder his house. The one who is not with me is against me, and the one who does not gather with me scatters. And so I tell you this, people can be forgiven any sin and any evil thing they say against God, but blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. The one who speaks against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, neither in this age nor in the age to come. If you have a healthy tree, its fruit will be healthy. If you have a rotten tree, its fruit will be rotten. You can know a tree by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you say anything good when you are so evil? For the mouth speaks what fills the heart. A good person produces good things from his good store, and an evil person produces evil things from his evil store. I tell you this, on the day of judgment, people will have to give an account of any careless word they have spoken. Your own words will declare you either innocent or guilty. Then some teachers of the law and some Pharisees spoke up, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. Jesus answered them, An evil and unfaithful people want a sign, but no sign will be given them except the sign of the prophet Jonah. In the same way, as Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so will the Son of Man spend three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. At the judgment, the people of Nineveh 
will rise with this generation and condemn it because they reformed their lives at the preaching of Jonah and here there is greater than Jonah at the judgment the queen of the south will stand up and condemn you she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and here there is greater than Solomon when an evil spirit goes out of your person it wanders over arid wastelands looking for a place to rest but it cannot find any then it says i will go back to my house which i had to leave so it goes back and finds the house empty clean and in order off it goes again to bring back with itself this time seven spirits more evil than itself they move in and settle there so that this person is finally in a worse state at the end than he was at the beginning this is what will happen to this evil generation while jesus was talking to the people his mother and his brothers wanted to speak to him and they waited outside so someone said to him your mother and your brothers are standing outside they want to speak with you jesus answered who is my mother who are my brothers then he pointed to his disciples and said look here are my mother and my brothers whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother Matthew chapter 13 That same day Jesus left the house and sat down by the lake side Many people gathered around him so he got into a boat and sat down while the crowd stood on the shore and he spoke to them in parables about many things Jesus said The sower went out to sow and as he sowed some seeds fell along the path and the birds came and ate them up other seeds fell on rocky ground where there was little soil and the seeds sprouted quickly because the soil was not deep but as soon as the sun rose the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no roots again other seeds fell among the thistles and the thistles grew and choked the plants still other seeds fell on good soil and produced a crop some a hundredfold others 60 and others 30 if you have ears then hear Then his disciples came to him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus answered, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but not to these people. For the one who has will be given more, and he will have in abundance. But the one who does not have will be deprived of even what he has that is why i speak to them in parables because they look and do not see they hear but they do not listen or understand in them the words of the prophet isaiah are fulfilled however much you hear you do not understand however much you see you do not perceive for the heart of this people has grown dull their ears hardly hear and their eyes dare not see if they were to see with their eyes hear with their ears and understand with their heart they would turn back and i would heal them but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear for i tell you 
many prophets and righteous people have longed to see the things you see but they did not see them and to hear the things you hear but they did not hear them now listen to the parable of the sower when a person hears the message of the kingdom but does not take it seriously the devil comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart this is the seed that fell along the footpath the seed that fell on rocky ground stands for the one who hears the word and accepts it at once with joy but such a person has no roots and he endures only for a while no sooner is he harassed or persecuted because of the word than he gives up the seed that fell among the thistles is the one who hears the word but then the worries of this life and the love of money choke the word and it does not bear fruit as for the seed that fell on good soil it is the one who hears the word and understands it this seed bears fruit and produces a hundred or sixty or thirty times more jesus told the people another parable the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field while everyone was asleep his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away when the plants sprouted and produced grain the weeds also appeared then the servants of the owner came and said to him sir was it not good seed that you sowed in your field where did the weeds come from he answered them this is the work of an enemy they asked him do you want us to go and pull up the weeds he told them no when you pull up the weeds you might uproot the wheat with them let them grow together until harvest and at harvest time i will say to the workers pull up the weeds first tie them in bundles and burn them then gather the wheat into my barn jesus offered them another parable The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field. It is smaller than all other seeds, but once it is fully grown, it is bigger than any garden plant. Like a tree, the birds come and rest in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like the yeast that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour until the whole mass of dough began to rise jesus taught all these things to the crowds by means of parables he did not say anything to them without using a parable this fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet i will speak in parables I will proclaim things kept secret since the beginning of the world. Then he sent the crowds away and went into the house. And his disciples came to him saying, "Explain to us the parables of the weeds in the field." Jesus answered them, "The one who sows the good seed is the son of man." The field is the world. The good seed are the people of the kingdom. The weeds are those who follow the evil one. The enemy who sows the weeds is the devil. The harvest is the end of time and the workers are the angels. Just as the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire, so will it be at the end of time the son of man will send his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom 
all that is scandalous and all who do evil and these will be thrown into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth then the just will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father if you have ears then hear the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field the one who finds it buries it again and so happy is he that he goes and sells everything he has in order to buy that field again the kingdom of heaven is like a trader who is looking for fine pearls once he has found a pearl of exceptional quality he goes away sells everything he has and buys it again the kingdom of heaven is like a big fishing net let down into the sea in which every kind of fish has been caught when the net is full it is dragged ashore then they sit down and gather the good fish into buckets but throw the bad away that is how it will be at the end of time the angels will go out to separate the wicked from the just and to throw the wicked into the blazing furnace where they will weep and gnash their teeth jesus asked have you understood all these things yes they answered so he said to them therefore every teacher of the law who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who can produce from his store things both new and old when jesus had finished these parables he left that place he went to his hometown and taught the people in the synagogue they were amazed and said where did he get this wisdom and these special powers isn't he the carpenter's son isn't mary his mother and aren't james joseph simon and judas his brothers aren't all his sisters living here where did he get all these things and so they took offense at him jesus said to them the only place where a prophet is not welcome is his hometown and in his own family and he did not perform many miracles there because of their lack of faith